he one side Antonio uh, Luis Restoy with this uh, uh, Merfolks and on the other side Antonio Leitao with Thotter yeah I mean Antonio's on the play which probably good I mean it's always good to be on the play in modern of course but probably not a big, as big deal here as it is in matches like you know the hammer against a strong we saw or other matches like that like combo mirrors or whatever this is Creatures against a control combo each deck. And another thing, though, that can happen is like uh, the Merfolk Trickster can actually be very good as well in this matchup, I will assume. There's, you know, Merfolk is not like as simple as it looks in terms of like the gameplay because they're creatures, sure, they're only Merfolk, but they have a lot of abilities. And Tishana's, you know, Trickster, they are very tricky cards. And even the tight shape, like there's, there's a lot of small things that we might see in this match. Well, will we see? The Merfolk decks can uh, can be super fast. Can, yeah, can make fast. a lot of damage in early turns, and the top tier deck needs to be uh, so fast with that with that uh, artifacts. That's one thing though. Like Merfolk now is slower than before. Usually, as the power level gets higher in decks in modern, as the years go by, decks are faster, right? That that will, will make sense. But I think Merfolk is actually slower. Because now they don't play like that many cards like Vile or that many like small Merfolks. Now they play more like Tishana's Tide Binder and Subtlety, which are like slow cards if you think about it. You know, like Subtlety is a four mana card. Obviously, you can cast it pitching, but it's not good at attacking. Like these cards do not only not end the game fast, they actually made the game go longer. So it's funny how, you know, a deck getting better might actually make it slower in a way. Well, Stoneforge Mystic looking for this uh, Sword of the Meek in the deck. Yep, to... Sword is the combo with the Top Tier Foundry. Mm -hmm. is, um, yeah. is this a combo deck? Well, it's a, I think it's a control combo deck. Control combo deck. Usually, if you have Foundry, Top Tier Foundry, and Sword of Meek and Ursa, you can get infinite life and infinite tokens, 1-1, one, one, so that's a full combo. But then, if you don't have Ursa, and you have only the Tatter Foundry and the Sword, that's the old combo, you know, from the beginning of Modern. It was a good deck. Whoa. And basically what it means with this combo is, with one man paying one mana, you make a 1-1 one, one flying and gain one life, which is actually quite a bit, like, because, you know, half five mana, put five tokens. That's very, it's decently, you know, like, decently power. Like, it's good enough to actually win games. Maybe you cannot call it a wing-winning combo, but it's a combo, right? And especially in a matchup like a Marfolk, Actually, having these two cards, it's enough, I think, to win the game. So we'll see how, how this develops. Merfolk Trickster with Flash. So, so, so fast, this Merfolk. Okay, mm. Stoneforge. Yes, okay. Stop it. Yeah. You don't attack with the Scratcher this turn. Yeah, I mean, if the attack is better to wait, you know, because you can just cast it pre combat, like in the middle of the combat. So, you know, you kill it too. But it's probably better to do it this way. I think that's a good play for Rostoy. Is this Teferi? Teferi? Teferino? Teferino. Teferino. <laughs> Teferino. Well, Teferino, certainly very good, you know, as a turn three play for a, for a two drop here. And, well, it's going to need Force of Negation. No. No, Teferi was a... Mm. Uh... Well, it makes sense, right? Because yes. if you don't Force of Negation Teferi, then what are you going to Force of Negation? You cannot Force of Negation anything. Well, this is looking, I think, like, a lot of games are going to look like this, right? You know, two players play one creature, one some spells, and now this is where the game is going to open. Like, we don't know if Luis has more pressure or not. We know Antonio has some removal. I think he has portable hole. And a ganja. A ganja. I think it counts as removal, right? Mm-hmm. It's a land spell. And those are good against Merfolk. Kind of land spell. Yeah, but you cannot counter it. Well, you know how you can counter it with Tishana's Tishana, 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 Tishana is <laughs> is always <laughs> it's all over the place, doing yeah. the the hard work. Okay, this is a this is a, a very good Merfolk. Yeah, it's Velen of the Sea and Sky, one of the probably the best Merfolk in the deck. I will say it's a three four. And it's just just very good and very hard yeah, to deal with. It's indestructible. Well, it's indestructible if you if you have more Merfolks. Well, luckily, you play Marfolk, so it's yeah, not that hard to have multiple you have of those. Yeah, you have a lot of Marfolks in your deck. Draws cards. I mean, just a very good card. It's, uh, I will say the power level of, of this card is high enough to, you know, to be played in modern, and definitely one of the reasons to play Marfolk, I will say. It's one of the biggest payoffs. All right, we have a close turn here, because... So, Antonio has the Nettle Cyst and the Sword, but also 
it's just a saga, right? So he has to decide whether he goes to develop his pawn now or he just goes to the saga tokens. I assume saga tokens are better, but obviously this card he's already an expert of the deck, playing the deck and playing four on the tournament, so let's see what he chooses to do. Thinking, thinking so hard, okay. Yep, so the part of a whole Well. The mar yeah, so the portable hole triggers the Marfall. Pay the, pay the ward? Yeah, oh yeah, true, that's true. Because Velen gives, gives ward to Marfall. Yes. Yeah, it doesn't have, not only have in the but also gives ward. So this way, the way this works is now uh, Antonio has to pay one for the ward or not. That's uh, something we missed. So it's. Um, they also did miss a little bit, but now there is an answer trigger. So the way this works is you play the portable hole, and then you, know, you say ward, and then the opponent has to decide to pay one or not. So now, now Antonio's like, well, I have to decide. You know what I'm going to pay. And because otherwise he would lose, you know, like the part of a hole. And now he has two mana up. So he's going to use the Mystic to put the sword. Worth well, noting that, you know, it's better to wait to use the Mystic. Maybe the Nettle Cyst. Island also, here. Because you cannot counter it, the ability. Very fancy island. Okay. Ah, that's good. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Taking my, my three with this Silver Loon. Yep, and drawing okay. a card in the process, it's a very good card advantage engine. Yes. Uh, so, Nettle Cyst is 2-2 uh, two, two now, right? So it's not good enough to actually block and kill Svelon. Um, but I think we're still probably going to see it. Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. this game looks good for the Manfolk side, but remember the combo? Like, if if Antonio finds a top to foundry... Mm, okay, if, attack you know, with uh, the Stone Porch. Who the heck? Tishanas? Yeah, Tishanas. Yes, Tishana. Tishana has flash. Tishana is, is, is for all. You can play Tishana in all uh, yeah. situations. Tishana just counters the Mystic, and it's like... Uh, it remembers a little bit... Yeah, it remembers a little bit like to Oko, you know? All these oh, sticks, Oko. like, this has no abilities, remember? Reminds with me Oko, Oko yeah. When, when you use Oko in the future matches, they put this stick of, like, this is an elk. I think I still like this. I'm like, well, this is similar, you know? Like, these creatures have been Tishanad. So maybe the cards are good and leave cards without abilities. They're actually good for magic. You are Tishanated. <laughs> You're half Tishanated, yeah. So it, it's now the Mystic doesn't do anything. I'm not sure. I think Antonio is reasonably happy with this outcome. But because Tishana is a card that will be able to actually um, stop the combo mm -hmm. of the Thapter and the, yep. the Sword. But on the other hand, if you're Luis and you don't have any other threats, that's like a good way to establish more pressure because you know you're the aggressor, right? And now, well, we're going to see this Saga activate. Saga super powerful. Uh, most notably, Tishanas can counter the Saga ability, but it doesn't leave the Saga without any ability on itself because the card says creature, artifact, and placeholders. It doesn't mean enchantments or lands. Mm -hmm. So it actually doesn't remove the abilities from the Saga. That's a, very narrow, it's a very narrow interaction, but it actually... Changes how this play, these cards play against each other. And, well, well we, we don't know what, what he's going to find. Starting with other spell bomb. Is it spell bomb? Yes. I mean, spell bomb is fine, but it's not, mm. you know, game breaking or anything. Saga is also, like, mapping to Saga is another option, but he doesn't have too much this mana. This is a difficult decision. Yep. It is a difficult decision. And you know why it's difficult? Because there's no very good option. <laughs> <laughs> As you can tell this, this is, in magic, yeah. This is a, a mediocre <laughs> option always right now in this situation. Yeah, it's a little bit of pick your poison, right? Where I mean spellbone is not yeah, great. Spell bone. There's just nothing particularly good you can get here. Do you think the spellbone is good here? Uh sounds meh for me. So so. Yeah, it's very weak, but I think it might very well be the best option, right? Because it at least uh can count can bounce this spell. Mm -hmm. So at the very least it gains one turn. So maybe that's actually good. I think I think I like it, but definitely not a, you know, like Saga obviously is a good card, but here I like a deck like Amulet. You don't have any Whoa. super premium target, or you can just get like the Amulet or something. Because Saga in other decks is very very more powerful card. Yep. So that's a that's a construct token, right? Yeah, the the card. Yes, this token. Yes. It's a construct. Well, interesting decision. He um, Antonio decided not to play the Aganjo. So he's just saving the card in his hand. I think he plans to kill the this Velum eventually with it. And now this is yep. a... So it's one, two, three, co construct three, three. So this construct trades with um, 
Tishanas. Yes, can trade with Tishana. Mm, that's good. I mean, the other option was to play Ganjo and play the sword. So the construct is bigger than Tishana. But then you lose the ability to kill the Svalum eventually or to kill a Merfolk. That's actually another another road, you know, another way to play this game. And I mean, that's magic, that's modern. It's just turn four but or five, I think. And we see like, especially Antonio in this game, he could have played this way differently in many different ways. But Looks like he's gonna use the spell bomb oh. to time walk the, okay. the spell bomb. Spell bomb in uh, Silvellum. Yep, and Karn is a 2 2, I mean, Karn, uh, Construct. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a small Karn, right, in a way, but Construct is a 2 2. A little Karn. They have a dice on the top of it, which probably should not be there, but it's actually very useful to follow the, the action. Well, we'll see, Marfall. We wanna... I, mean, I assume he's gonna play this spell again, yeah. Yes. Go down, That's go up, go down again. This is not bad for Antonio, right? Like, he played the spell bomb, obviously lost the card, but he got a turn in, you know, that's okay. Okay, the second Urta Saga for Antonio. Now what? Okay. Hmm. This is a metallic rebuke in hand. Yes. Metallic rebuke, though, doesn't look very good against Cavern of Souls naming no. <laughs> It's like a mulligan. <laughs> it's blank. Totally. Yeah, I mean, it's good against subtlety, but I think Guise has one card only, and I think he has more. All right, I think this is the turn he's going to go for the uh, Ganjo. All right, he saved this Ganjo, this Ganjo for this turn. No, that's four cards. Luis actually has... Yeah, he has cards, of course. He hasn't cast that many. He just had the group then so much. All right, two Marfold, two mana Marfold. A lot of Atlantis, a beautiful Lord one, a so lot of Atlantis, the, like more, the like, more traditional merfolk in the Magic, the yeah, Gathering, yeah. I guess. Yeah, Luis is a player that always played this kind of thing, so I'm pretty sure you he has Luis? got the... You yeah. know Luis? Yes. I'm pretty, you I'm pretty know sure. the merfolk? Yeah, yeah, he's yeah? a merfolk Yeah, he's a merfolk guy. You know, <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's played this lot of Atlantis for many years. <laughs> All right, double, double merfolk. Well, now this is an issue, though, because now uh, Antonio can actually cast the... The rebuke, and that's that's not very good for Luis. Yeah, like this okay. cannot be three. Lord of Atlantis in the graveyard. And now he's gonna attack. Trigger, trigger, trigger. drawing a card. Well, that's well. You cannot engage the this battle. Battle is understandable now. I think right. So that's not gonna work. Solemn is understandable. Yeah. Again, problems again, again well, with no the problems. war. Mm, yeah, like, like it's villain gets indestructible if uh, Iganjo, like if if you have to all the Malfog, mm -hmm. and he does have to all the Malfog, so the Zvalum is indestructible. So Iganjo can literally do damage. Yes. But it does not kill the Zvalum because it's indestructible. So it actually didn't work very well this turn, just because um, you just had another two Malfog. All right. Um, I think Antonio was like, oh, it's unfortunate. Let's just untap. And he drew the uh, top tier foundry. So now he has the actually combo? access to the foundry and the sword. We have the combo right we now. We have the combo here. Yeah. So this game is not over, right? Oh, he's a two life, so maybe yes. <laughs> I didn't He's still alive. Antonio is yeah. still alive and have the curse of the combo. Yep. So he played this. This gets bigger. Okay. And Here's then. One foundry. Oh, you know what it is? Uh, he has the basic island. So he actually loses to the Lord of Atlantis because Island Walk he is a very powerful can't ability. He can't block the... Island Walk ability directly from the beta mm. <laughs> on Alpha Times. You know, if you have an island, you cannot block. Still being relevant to these days with this basic island on the corner. I mean, this game seems to be over. Just Atlantis giving the evasion. Okay, go ahead. Two lives hmm. only remains for Antonio. But seems yep, yep. This enough. Game, seems this enough. This game's over. Yeah. You know, we we still like these things like you know forgetting the word and such. They actually happen a lot. Like it's it's very it's very easy to see from the outside. You know, sometimes like you know like well this card has indestructible. But when you're playing and you plan to kill a card with a with Yuri Ganjo, it's actually I mean I've been there. I'm sure you've been there. Sometimes you forget a part of the card and you know that that's it's important to be able though to. Rebuild yourself and be like, okay, you know, this was, this happened. That's okay. Let's just go on and just try to play the best. And I think I'm pretty sure you're gonna see this 
here. Time to cyborg in and cyborg out. Yep. What is the what is the game plan for both decks? Well, presumably the Marfal deck will get a little bit more of interaction. Nothing like very extreme, of course. We're gonna see a little bit more of. I assume this member to deal with Ursa. Uh, I guess you know, like cards like still sabotage. Well, there, there's cards, you know, in Marfolk to access to um, to be the um, to be the deck. The issue is you're playing Marfolk, right? You're playing an aggressive deck. Also, you're playing a Marfolk deck, which means the more Marfolk you have, the better cards like Lofalantis are or Svelon are. So you have to be very careful because if you put every single card that interacts with your opponent deck, you're going to find yourself often in situations where you have, sure, a lot of removals, a lot of cards that are good against artifacts, but then you do not have Marfolks. You just have like your answers. And you know how it ends, right? Like the opponent plays Ursa Saga or Ursa and you just die to it because they have card advantage because your deck is not built to be a control deck. I'm pretty sure you're just gonna be aware of this. So I think we'll see him burning some of interaction, but I don't think he's gonna have a full set of like, you know, a bunch of these members, subtleties, first negations on top of like Hard Crystal Call or cards like this. I think he's gonna pick the best ones and just make sure he can interact, but not too much so he has enough Merfolks. You need your creatures. Like this is something that happens a lot with aggro decks. You need to stay being the aggro deck, otherwise, just like just your plan just doesn't work. And you make a deck that's just trying to defend from a deck, but if you forget to be the attacker. You need you need your best creatures in the deck. You can't take out uh, because of the game plan. You do you need to attack with these creatures. Yep. Absolutely. Well, from the other side though, the artifact deck has an easy cyborg because if you have a removal, you're gonna play the removal. Like, <laughs> obviously you still have to make sure your deck functions, but this artifact deck is easier to function. Obviously it's also a synergy deck, but it works more like a combo deck in terms of like, you wanna have sword plus the foundry and that's it. So you wanna interact as much as you can, especially because if you break the Merfolk synergy, like Merfolk synergies, the Merfolk, like a trickster is a two, two for two. That's not very good at applying pressure, right? So if you can isolate it, you have a lot of time. So you can just get like, you know, a lot of draw steps to eventually assemble your combo, Ursa Saga, and the such. Well, we'll see the second game of this round number five. Antonio Leitao with Ursa Top the Sword combo with this foundry, and uh, Juiz Restoy with Merfolk. I like the Agro decks. I like these tribal decks. Uh, for me, it's a very different deck in modern. Uh, in uh, in the meta game with a lot of Renos, a lot of Thrones, it's very freshy have uh, decks like this one. Yeah, it's also like the Marfal deck just looks so simple and underpowered on the surface. Like it's just like, you know, some creatures that do, do not like look particularly overpowered or something, but they actually are very good together. And the thing is, cards like Force Negation and Subtlety, which, you know, it's, they are very common in this kind of decks, they actually play very well with this kind of pressure. Like. They don't play as well with a slow, big, like, Planeswalkers, Bombs, Mythics, or whatever. So they actually want you to be like, creature, creature, then Force of Negation, then Subtlety. I win the game with zero cards on my hand, but you have five cards, but you're dead. Which is, like, actually, we saw this game, right? Like, Antonio died, lost the game with a combo in his hand and an Edel Cyst. Uh, but Luis played in a way where the tempo was enough, so he couldn't actually, you know, deploy all the cards. So that's a little bit, I think, why Marfolk is so good in this meta game, in my opinion. Well, we'll see the first big tournament this week uh, before the bans, before the ban bans of this fury. Okay, so we see a solid hand from Antonio. I don't see Luis's hand. It was like three lands and Saga and Mystic, Boseju. Not good Mulligan enough. For Marfolk. Yeah, Mulligan for my folks. Well, Marfolk, I will say it will keep most hands that have like two lands, three lands, four lands. Like you're not gonna be like. You know, these Merfolks are not very strong. I'm going to bully you for other Merfolks. They're all kind of the same, yes. especially the post-cyborg. So I assume I we will probably not see too many Mulligans in this kind of uh, matchup compared to, again, other matchups where we will be like, you know, I need a key card or something. This is clearly not the case. Well, Mulligan to six. And Antonio with seven cards in hand. And Bane uh, so good. on the play. So the hand is two lands, saga, three lands with Saga. Mm -hmm. Mystic, Mystic, top to front you. That's a very good hand because the Mystics can get the the sword of the Meek and then with sword and foundry. So he already has the combo. Totally. Like, yeah. Well, 
Well, All right. Chris is thinking about the that hand. Yeah, I mean, I don't yeah. see the hand very Lord well. Lord of the landings of yeah. the water now. Okay, go it's ahead. Two lander, right? I think it's two landers. We'll see. Okay. Let's we'll see. If Land, go ahead. Draw a car. Okay. Then again, Marfolk now doesn't really have that many one mana plays. Like even Tide Shaper, which is the usual one they have, they actually maybe cyber out. I guess not here because it was a saga. But uh, what I'm saying is, this is this used to be a bad hand for Marfolk because you don't have Vial, but the deck doesn't play Vial anymore. So going Island Go is not like um, weakness anymore. Kisan can still be very good. All right. So I want to see the Mystic. I mean, I don't know exactly Yuisa's hand, but I, I'm pretty sure the top third deck is favored in this game. Looking at this hand, it's just a very strong hand. Let's see. So I'm probably going to see if... This, yeah. is, this is interesting because the decision between Saga and Fetch here is not obvious. Because if you Saga here... Put that Saga, but sure. Yeah, you commit yourself to Ooh. either put tokens next Fetch turn. Land. Yeah, like if you play Saga... Yes. You 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 commit yourself to actually put tokens next turn, which actually devaluates your hand, right? Because your hand is very good. So the better your hand is, the less appeal the less appealing it is to actually play Saga here, right? And and that's I think um why we saw Antonio here play the fetch. I think that's a, it's actually a very good play. Like it's not it's always hard to decide if um if you play the saga or not in these situations, but I think that was a good analysis from Antonio and let's see. He gets the combo again for combo piece, and you know. Now it's the the ball is on Luis's court. <laughs> the sword of the meek. Yep, the combo. This member. This is member is kind mm, of the well This member is so aggressive. Why? I mean, because there's not too many better targets, and also Luis doesn't really know what's in in Antonio's hand. Like we know, here's the sword. That's it. Oh, Luis didn't get the second land up. That's very weak. <laughs> like that's a, that's <laughs> not a very um, a strong hand. But honestly, even if he had a land, I still think Antonio's hand is completely massive. <laughs> now we get the saga, and we're probably gonna see some part of the combo being deployed. I guess mm, we can also play another you know, mystic though. But yeah, he goes for the combo piece. All the pieces of the combo, the top tier foundry. Yep, and the um, and the, the sword of the meek. Sword of the meek. But you also need one more artifact to start mm. the combo because you need to sacrifice just one, one artifact. Just, just one artifact. Yeah. Well, like you need wow. the sword. Game. If it's on the graveyard, if it's on the hand, it's that all good. That was hard for. Uh, yep, I mean, uh, Luis. For Luis. Yeah, he misses a second drop, but if you're gonna lose a game where you miss a second land drop and you don't play at all, may as well just be against the the best hand the opponent could have on the play when seven. You know, like. I think there are very, very uh, few hands Marfolk can have to beat this. And, you know, let's, let's see game three. Well. Definitely making the plays. Yes, the Antonio is on the, is on the play right now. Yep. No, no, Antonio's no, only made the draw. He was in the play now on, before. Yes, yeah. so, yes, exactly. Stormforge Mystic is so much better than the play. It's one of these cards where you're in the play, it's like your opponent has one land only. You're like, ah, oh, we good, you know. <laughs> and then <laughs> if you're in the draw, sometimes they have like a lot of stuff. Not not with Marfolk specifically, but you know, it's um it's not that mm. that much. Well the last game of this round. I don't expect much many, many changes though. Do you think things will change yes, from the sideboard yes. in three? Yeah. One 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 card, I think, uh, Antonio. He can change one card. Yes. He changed one card. Probably and not, change, and not change for Luis. Yeah, what yes. do you think? Maybe maybe he had more like a counter spell or something, just to be on the draw, so he can just try to. No, counter spells not very good against Tishana. Hmm. Well, I mean, we'll it's hard see. to know. You can you can <laughs> know, you know, like it's it's very. It can be a small thing, probably. Like, for example, if your opponent has tight shapers and spreading seas, maybe you're gonna cut one or second on the draw. So that's maybe a thing uh, you will do as here if you are Antonio. For example, that something comes to mind, like a filler card, like another artifact, like another spell bomb, is actually always okay. But if you have a saga, that's a card that's super strong for your deck, but it has some clear vulnerabilities. It's actually that are bigger on the draw. It's actually better to cyber them out of the draw, even though they are like better cards or whatever. Like opening a hole in your strategy is 
not convenient. So I think Antonio might be doing this, like just making sure he doesn't have any like particular vulnerabilities here. Yes. Well, good nice. hands, praying for good hands, <laughs> both players. Go, go, go. That's the one. Relance, mm. uh, good spells. Mm. Mm. Wow. Mm. Insta, Mulligan for Yuris. Yep. I mean, with no playable. Hand. Yeah, like, I mean, then again, Mulligan's here are usually like one landers or whatever. I think Antonio's hand is something like three lands, a ring, and more sagas. So definitely, well, he Mulligan. I think it's a Mulligan as well. Like, yeah. we fully agree. It's. Yep. It was a five lander, I think. Both players but, yeah. making this Mulligan. Mm, Mulligan, oh. presumably better for Ruiz, but maybe not, actually. The Okay, this deck. This uh, top tier sword deck can make aggressively mulligan. I don't think so. I think I think it doesn't mulligan very well because you need lands for your combo to be good, and it's like, well, sagas are expensive. Like Ursa's expensive. I think the mulligan actually might favor a little bit Juice, but not too much because he's playing force negations and subtlety type of cards, and he they are kind of key cards, so he cannot sabot them out or anything. So I will say the mulligan is some maybe about even. I'm not sure favors too much a player maybe louise but barely you know definitely not a lot also he's on the play so you should be on the play when it's tied mm -hmm. it's a little bit worse yep. to be on the on the play in the mulliganing but yeah i think it's about even in that that spot we'll see it's gonna be okay. peak whoever gets you okay, know, okay 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 a good hand here hard, defi hard decisions well they keep both six and antonio's hand seems to be a little bit land light and Luis has i think two islands Two, two beautiful islands. Two two islands. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's some life being with a drum. The drum, sprinkle drum that keeps thing, seeing play in different constructed decks. It just it seems like not very good, <laughs> but it just keeps finding <laughs> ways to be played. Like now with Saga, Another... it was it's good, but before it yeah. was also like played. Ooh, still sabotage. That's that's a strong play. Yes, definitely. What about and so whoa. Well, draw a card. Can I draw a card? Yep. He shows a Tishana, I think. That's a Tishana, right? Yeah. I'm not sure it's a Tishana, you know, with some art sometimes. And it was very he's, it was very fast flashing. It was like, he didn't show to us. He showed to the opponent only. Oh, okay. <laughs> Tishana, <laughs> <'Cause> like, <laughs> the mommy's here. It was like this, like show. Whoa. Like <laughs> presenting the... It was his Vellum, they say. Okay. His Vellum. Well, and top tier foundry for Antonio. I mean, you are Jewish here. You just have to just slam your mouth again. And hope for the best, right? Definitely, the the, the thing you're gonna see the least the least is now sort of meek because that pretty much beats you. Well, oh, that, ooh, that's a Teferino. Teferino. Is Teferino gonna face a uh, force negation? Okay. This is a spot nah. where you could actually f maybe not force negation just because you can kill Teferino. You can't play this Teferino. Like, but maybe you it's an option to let it resolve because mm -hmm. Teferino bounces Vellum, yep. and then you with the other you kill Teferino. What this may what this means is you can actually keep the force negation for the sub sword. Okay. So I don't know the last card in in Yui's hand, but there's an option on the, the, the there where you can just hold the the force negation here. Is that game for five. And drawing a card, definitely very good position for Yui's <laughs> here. But yes, Yui's had a very comfortable tight shaper and... killing the saga. That's interaction we talked about before, like. Yes, this makes Saga us, worse on the, us, on yes. the draw. Yeah. Very inter interesting. AKA okay, Avalanche Riders, the card from Versus Legacy that kills a land when it comes into play. This is the Marfolk <laughs> version. And yeah. Well, this is look things are looking bad for, for Antonio, honestly. Like I think a sword is among the very few things that can get him out of this. And that is not a sword, that is a Boseju. Mm, play fetch. He has I think a Nettle Seas in here. I don't think uh, I don't think there's much that can be done here. Yeah. Mm. I mean, he's not think his options, but the water cannot be casted. Like it's it's. Well, with with tight shaper. Um, I mean, the game is not gonna end next turn because it's three, five, seven, nine. But I don't think there's any way out. We have the portable hole now. Targeting, I assume, the Tight Shaper. Okay, removal. Pay, yeah. pay yeah, the award. Pay the award, yeah. Pay the award. Always, it's important to not forget that 
that's a fact. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> what is <laughs> better when you don't forget about it? Yes. Yeah, but. Okay. At this point, I don't know which cards on, are on, um, you know, on the, on the hands, but like, I think as long as you doesn't have like three lands, well, he doesn't have three lands because he didn't attack with the multi -volt. So <laughs> definitely we know he has spells and there's not too many ways for Antonio. Maybe draw in Urtha. Like if we yeah, has like a force negation hand, which might be, and I will also explain the the fast like force negation on the Teferi. Go ahead with four mana yeah. free. Well, yeah, like I mean, maybe he has like uh, subtlety, right? Yes. And if he has subtlety, hard, hard cast the subtlety. He has something like subtlety and force negation. <laughs> he's locked the game because subtlety counters the Ursa and force negation counters the. Can you pay the two spells? I think I think if you use as those cards, he just won the game. We just don't see Luis's hand because he's holding them a little bit like tight, but um, well, that's a Ursa. This uh yes, this is combo. Well, that's not the combo. It's one short, I think. Well, it's just a combo. Well, not 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 the combo. Like, it's missing the sword actually, <laughs> but it could be the combo with the sword. But Ursa, he has to cast the Ursa, but I mean, you just really like like mark like he has like here a subtlety playing the game. Like it looks like a subtlety. Antonio knows it looks like a subtlety, but <laughs> you have to play it anyway. Like it's that or you die. Like there's also it, other combinations. It's People a, have force it's negation. A hard, it's a hard situation for that's the player. Force negation. Yes. Also, Tawara. Like there's other things you could have, but still, like yeah. you have to. Let's play go. The Islam. Islam. Play the Islam. Like like, okay. You know, hope it holds and pray. Okay. okay. What happened? I think Luis. seems like um, Ursa might be resolving. Nope. He's gonna. Tishana. No, he's not a water. Three minutes of the water. Yes, no, Tishana. 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 Tishana and the Ursa. So this means Ursa has no ability this turn. Yes. Funnily enough, if Antonio had the um, this sword as the last card in his hand, he could be able to tap the both artifacts in response, get mana, play the sword, and then on their upkeep combo. But he doesn't have it. We know it, but Luis doesn't know it. But it's um, yeah, we'll see. But Mm, thinking, it seems like thinking. Five life is maybe not. This is a bit you in the hand. It's just okay. Antonio only have a one card in hand. L last card for Antonio is like was a. Was it, what is the last card? I think it was a drum, right? I mean, drum. No. I'm not sure. Of. That's just Wasayu actually. Yeah, Wasayu which he cannot use, right? Yes. He gets blue mana. He cannot use the mana, right? Tishana, the police of the of this matchup. Yeah, I mean he's gonna sack the foundry now, but Tishana. We just keep seeing I I I foresee we're gonna see a lot of games like this. Games being like, well, if the player has Tishana, they just win the game. And we already see a lot of match against Go and from Gobern against Philip, where Philip actually mm -hmm. won the game with Tishana mm -hmm. in a very unlikely situation. This was not as unlikely. I think Juiz was solidly ahead. But still Tishana definitely being, you know sealing the deal here. Well, that sounds like lethal to me. When your opponent bounces your Oblivion Ring, type of effect, end of turn, it tends to be lethal an alarming amount of time, I will say. So it's sex life, one okay. blocker, two blockers. Take turn. But it's mutable, and so... And yeah, Marfolk. Yeah. Okay. Naming Marfolk and... This is the end. Will be... Well, there's two blockers, so... If he plays anything else, the game's done. Like I don't know what else, but yeah, Otawara, that's enough. Yeah, Otawara is lethal. Just anime mutable tag with okay. everything. Otawara, and Otawara to your hand. This Urtha to your hand. Yep. And yep. The handshake. Hand. Yes. This is hands shaking. Uh, yeah. Always, uh, it's important to be sportive. Yeah, I mean, it was a cool game. Marvel did the Marvel thing, but this was not. Like a very fast kill. It was, yeah. it, was, it was like disruptive kill. It was like force negation here, Tishana there, you know, like yes. just doing something and then not a water. It was not like one drop, two drop, double one drop, you know? A bit, a bit swingy. I like.